So I really like my DeLonghi Perfecta espresso machine, but it just seems like about once a year something goes wrong. This time it just wasn't making coffee. It, nothing was coming out. In fact, it couldn't even complete the rinse cycle. Okay, so this meant I was going to open it up again. And remember, anytime you're going to open up a machine like this, make sure you unplug it first. So initially, I thought there might be a blockage somewhere, but in the end, it just ended up being the pump. I'll walk through how I replaced the pump on this unit, and then uh, maybe we can uh, talk a little bit how water flows through one of these machines then. Here's a, a couple of close-ups of the pump. And then, of course, here are the connections at the top of the pump. This top connection is actually the pressurized water uh, going into the rest of the machine. And the bottom one seems to be some kind of a, a drain valve in case um, there's a blockage and it just gives the water a place to go. It drains into the uh, pan at the bottom of the machine. And as long as we're zoomed in here, I'll just point out the two clips that hold these in. Uh, this upper one is a small clip that you just pull out with a pair of pliers. And then the other one is uh, a, a squeeze type of clip. And for that one, you just uh, sort of squeeze the two ends together and then move the clamp to a different place on the hose away from uh, the fitting. And then down below the pump, of course, this is the water inlet. This comes from the water tank. Okay, to remove the pump, the first thing I'll go after is that top water hose and remove that clip that I mentioned. Um, and then I'll pull out the electrical connections. Again, make sure that the machine is unplugged from the wall. I apologize that this video isn't better. It's just hard to get a good camera angle uh, when the, everything is so tight. So that top water hose um, just pulls straight out from the fitting. Do watch out, there's an O-ring inside that fitting and sometimes it comes out on the hose, sometimes it just flies out into the air. So you have to keep track of that, otherwise that fitting will leak forever. Okay, with that hose done, then I'll go after the electrical connections. There's a small tab on these uh, spade connectors that you, if you press in, they just pop right out. So then I go after the bottom uh, feeder hose here, and that, that doesn't even have a clamp. It's, it's not pressurized at all, so they just uh, it's just a friction fit. Okay, and now I'm going to go after that top drain hose and just use a pair of pliers to, again, uh, move that clip over to another place on the hose. So the top fitting on the, the pump that receives those two hoses at the top actually screws into the pump. So uh, here I just grabbed a pair of pliers and um, uh, sort of onto the, the, the neck of the top of the pump and then unscrewed that top fitting. So the fitting here on the left, um, I'm going to keep. Uh, that doesn't come with the pump, so I'm just going to thread that into the new pump. And here's the new pump, and uh, I'm going to thread that fitting in. This is made a little bit awkward in that there's this rubber mounting bracket that everything has to be threaded through. Um, just makes it a little difficult because you have to basically do it inside the machine. Okay, with that fitting screwed on then, it's just a matter of uh, completing the mounting by putting it fully inside that rubber mounting bracket and then hooking up the hoses and electrical. And it bears repeating that when you're putting back in this uh, thin pressurized tubing that you make sure that that O-ring is in place. And here's that little push clip going back in to secure that top hose. And then here I'm just sliding that uh, clamp back into place to secure the drain hose. No! Okay, here I finally put that inlet um, hose on and then I go to the electrical connections. 
I forgot to point out in uh, disassembly that there's this little uh, blue, um, I think it's a thermal uh, switch uh, that, that slides into a mount inside the side of the pump. And uh, it, it's just in, in case the pump overheats, it um, it's, uh, shuts things down. But you just then have to slide it back up into this special pocket that's on the side of the pump. Okay, before doing the final test, I thought I'd illustrate the water path in these uh, espresso machines. First, there's the pump, and from the pump, it goes to uh, the main block heater, which can give you either a, a coffee, or the water can also then be passed onto a solenoid. From there, it can go onto another boiler, this horseshoe boiler, and then onto another solenoid, which controls the water going to um, the spigot for the frother and then from that you can get a cappuccino. Okay, here's the moment of truth to see if the rinsing works. Okay, looks like the pump replacement worked, so I'm gonna call this a success.